Jack walked up the dry creek bed. It was easy traveling where the bank was deep enough to keep tree limbs from flapping in his face among the pathless forest hills, deep enough that his staff carved over with oval emblems of frogs and owls and dancing ladies, the ball on top, could be seen by squirrels beside the creek bed bobbing above the bank top as he hiked upward and eastward Calluses on the bottom of his bare feet, so efficient, so dense, like those on the tips of a bass player's fingers. The skin looks nearly normal and does not deaden the feel. He would grasp a stone now and then with his toes and toss it aside to feel the smoothness. On his back, a harp he carried a harp all made of gold. Eastward and upward that harp he carried through hollows between high ridges whose shadows split daylight down the middle through mornings glowing on the left side of his body with night still seeping out of spots in the hill-shaded woods on his right. Through middays the sun briefly overhead between the ridges so blazing as the narrow sky sweeps down, sycamore light is swallowed inside it. And within the sheen on the harp's golden strings, the sun's reflection blazed so that hawks could not look at it. Through long afternoons, the strings darkening to mirror of darkness pouring at a growing angle. Over the eastern ridge, a waterfall of night's forward negotiation, so substantial undersides of leaves, pale flashing and other bits of light seem to climb it, to leap out of day into the glowing through silhouettes of trees high overhead, red sun down. Already hid behind the ridge to his right, magenta streamers up there, apparently still attached to that leaking glory. Now towing fluid night into the holler he walked through, where he made his simple camp. saw inside the night, darkness holding clouds of deeper dark, against the hillsides particularly, sweet smelling, he'd watch the darkscape, watch its changing, could almost see activity there. In his dreams, his harp was playing. One thing Jack wanted, the harp to sing to him in daylight. He wanted this beyond reason. But on this trip, it would never sing until he slept. And then, the song she played made him dream things. She teased him with choruses about her giant.
teased him. Teased him with choruses. Teased him with choruses. Like Fifi, 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 Fifi. He so hungry, got to smell him. Dread so hungry, got to smell him out. So Englishman, it's an Englishman. Got to smell him out, son. So hungry, so fat, so plain. He smelled yesterday and yesterday's rain. Be fat, be quiet. He smelled tomorrow's milk, smell, deep tomorrow night. Feed fire, so faint. Me smell blood and piss and pain. Feed fire, be quiet. So much tease to feed fire, so plain. Feed fire, full of fun. The chorus is about her time. Be so with swoops of words smooth as crabs dancing. She made dream to cover the shifting topography of his fears and fascinations. sweetened with breezes. The harp would tease him more gently, using chasing tones of a melody so huge each note presented a new dream room she conducted him through. Backward over the trail he'd taken eastward and upward in the day. She'd show Jack himself again, his face where his lips meet water, set a puddle in motion, rippling his own reflection. Its next verse brought night over that scene and pulled the moon as a blue-white flash bobbing inside his mustache. When he counted the moons, he'd get three. The large one over his shoulder, the little one leaping in the puddle, the where was the other? He hadn't the concentration to remember because a faster tune she played would show him eating walnut meat again, pride painstakingly from hand-staining shells and with it the smell of honey locust pods. At this simple camp, where he had stopped for this sleep and watched the darkscape and breathe the music of night sounds and silence, till his dream turned round him, caught up to itself again, and tagged him in passing on the shoulder. And at that faint greeting, his dream became fitful and glad. Indeed, having demonstrated its power, sometimes the heart turned tender, and sang without sarcasm samples mighty of a mighty music, the kind she must have made for her old master, the giant our Jack had stolen her from. Y'all remember the very ogre who tried to sniff out old Jack for supper, who chased after Jack, fleeing with the stolen treasure. But Jack made it back down and grabbed his axe and chopped down the beanstalk as dread tumbled out of the sky behind them landing so loudly that buildings for miles around shook and birds scattered everywhere and Jack's mother came out from the house with her hands on her hips to see what he'd been up to now. Even awake a couple of times out of the circumstantial sounds he moved through in broad daylight. A few large drops had splashed onto his hearing the way a summer rain that lasts only a few seconds may spread its big drops wide enough. They only splot your shirt once or twice, then it's over. But once Jack got lucky, and the discreet and scattered drops of tone thickened into a wind-warped rainstorm of music spread wide over the landscape. 
With Jack's ears only one possible center of it swirling among an infinity, he wondered. Do you suppose, he wondered. Such elemental song flows from this harp all the time, even while its smaller songs go on. They go on inside the larger music. Do you suppose the harp can camouflage so skillfully into everyday noise of the world that I've stopped even listening for it mostly? But if that were so, although her camouflage worked almost 100%, still one little spill spilled the beans that the secret music existed. And when the music storm stilled, all he could remember was the edge of forgetting. So every few, every nights, few nights, the deepest sweet the tease, deepest, tease, sweet of, all tease of all came. came. The one when she, she sang, sang to him, him she that she would him. sing for him. Awakened as My sweetly. Old master. Awakened as sweetly as I as did, I did to, my old to my old master. By if ask her to by daylight. He, ask her to if, if he, he would, would just, just would once just remember, once remember to, to ask her to by daylight. If awake, he would praise her with skill and warmth, complain to her of his need for radiance with each breath by day as by night then by day as by night she'd sing to him by day as by, by, day, night, as by, by day, night. day as by night then jack would dream he woke up and on bowing before the harp all made of Ask gold her two by daylight he'd dream he said Ask her two by daylight i want to march to your drums in daylight even as my dreams float at night I want upon to march your song, to your drums in daylight. I want to march to even your drums in daylight. Is at night my dreams even float upon your song. Even as my dreams float at night. Even as my dreams float at night. I want to march to upon your song. Even as my dreams float at night. I want to march upon your song. In her reply, she didn't sing it. She said. Something different needed as to herself in plain speech to show me more directly here, to ever show me more directly North of the here, climbing back down the beanstalk to my sector, stood right side up, stood right side up. This gave Jack the impression that what was for him climbing up. The beanstalk was for her climbing this down gave it. Jack the impression in the sense that what he returned to his world up, by climbing the down. The beanstalk was for her climbing down it. What was for him in the sense that he returned to his world was by climbing down, climbing down it. In the sense that he returned to his world by climbing down, climbing down, by climbing down. In the sense that he returned to his world by climbing down to his world. What was for him climbing up the beanstalk was for her climbing down. Images returned to his dream. When images but when returned images to his returned dream. to his dream, the images were abstract. The images when were abstract. Images returned he lost to his thought. dream. He the lost his thought, and thus the harp regained control of the dream. Fee fee fa fa Somewhat abruptly, she was back to control. She made him hear a bunch of children. Jack I will sing the Jerry quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack, Jack jumped, jumped over the, over candlestick. the candlestick. The children giggling, the children and trailing, giggling and trailing to speak from song to speech. And added then that last line, added then that last line to be noted sometimes. Only could be noted at the end of the rhyme. At the end of the rhyme, and burned his dick. Then, as his hand, then as his hand moved down to that little stem, his lesser hecker inking training and certainly the Joseph was on him. But. If he asked her when actually awake, 
instead of while dreaming he was awake. Mightn't she in those conditions have to keep her word and sing for him in daylight? Like pouring salt on a blackbird's tail, the legend you can catch them? Jack thought it might be like that. Two brown in the tan, four tourmaline. Muddy water rushes down off the ridges. Two brown in the tan, four tourmaline. But shining anyway. The rains came hard, and the creek bed awoke. Muddy water rushing down off the ridges. Two brown in the tan for a tourmaline, but shining anyway. Two brown in the tan for a tourmaline. Muddy water rushes down off the ridges. To brown in the tan for tourmaline, but shining anyway. When the rains came hard and the creek bed awoke, muddy water rushing down off the ridges, a little too brown in the tan for tourmaline, but shining. Anyway, shining anyway, shining anyway, shining down the ground in the tan, shining anyway, shining anyway. Jack turned up the hillside looking for a ridge trail. He had to cross one ridge too narrow for a trail and descend into a valley and start back up south, steep, grasping for small trunks to keep from crawling totally down on all fours. All the time puzzling over what was teasing him to be remembered. Teasing him to be remembered. What was teasing him. But on top, he smelled fish cooking, and there was a trail, and down it, tents of various sizes, made of bright, colored flaps alternating with flaps of khaki and a pile of stone fireplace with a pot hanging and a weathered table with benches all beneath trees at the edge of a small clearing. camp he felt glad and when he felt glad he knew he had been lonely for a while it didn't take half a second for him to wish without words it would be someone he could talk to about what he had been thinking the scenes of his dreaming he hoped they would listen to him tell about the giants <laughs> 